Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin yet again. One last little uh, update on this, probably for a little bit. Um, it's looking like the downside is is coming upon us. It really does. Let's see how today closes. It's not all said and done yet, okay? But we have the inverted cross here, okay? It's not a good, not a good uh, candlestick pattern on the Jesus Coin chart, okay? And it's red. Uh, bottom to top here, breaking below the 382 right now. If today can close green, different story. If it closes green, I'll make another video. If it closes red, likely we're going to go back down here. Likely we will. And inevitably, I do think actually that targets down at that 707 area to 705 are back on the table. It's been an emotional few days. Yes, it has. But um, I think what this is was just really it was it was a breath of fresh air it, it was pretty damn convincing breath of fresh air but here we are going down again again for anybody who bought up here i very much I'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice but i would very strongly recommend against selling do not sell i can be wrong we could see this thing who knows who knows you know what i mean like i can be wrong but at the moment i do think it'll go lower wait it out Right, not not financial advice, but I would just wait it out. If I bought up here, I would wait it out, um, and then wait like like a month or two, and then we're we're above those prices, and it doesn't even matter. You, you won't you won't care, you know. Um, don't let the greed get to you. You know what I mean? Don't let it get to you. Um, just I don't know. Kind of take it for what you will. Um, something interesting that I that I was doing today. I was looking at. Uh, all the wallets on Jesus Coin. I went to like the the smallest holdings of wallets. We do, we do have fifteen thousand five hundred and thirty wallets, but uh, it's something like the first like thirteen hundred wallets are worth less than a, what? What was it? Let me see. Hold on, I have I have the screenshot of it. I can't post it because it's on my phone, but. It's the first 1,230 wallets, maybe the last 1,230 wallets that have less than a cent. They have less than one cent in Jesus Coin. And then it's something like the first 1,000 wallets or like the last 1,000 wallets that have only one Jesus Coin. Like they have only one. It's kind of odd. Um, there could be some artificial wallet growth. Who knows? Maybe someone, maybe someone out there is like, I'm going to create wallets. I'm just going to send one Jesus coin to each each wallet to generate the idea that there's more wallets. Maybe someone got wallets ready for when they want to sell. You know, the ones that are worth less than uh, one cent, but they have more than one Jesus coin. I think those are people that like sold out all their Jesus coin. That's just the remnants. Um, but it's interesting, right? Fifteen thousand five hundred wallets. That's what we see here. But really, it's probably closer to like 14,200, 14,300 wallets. And even then, there's like another thousand wallets after that that only have one cent. Like I, I couldn't, the, the website glitched out and for some reason it's still glitched out. I can't, I, I couldn't do it. Um, I, I don't know what happened, man, but I wanted to go back and find where like the wallets that had one dollar or more started to come in, but I did I did get a little bit through it and uh, found that the first like two thousand wallets didn't even have more than a penny. So, um, or I guess technically a little more than a penny, but not two cents or more. But just just so you know, there's yes, there's more wallets, but uh, I don't know. I, th I thought that was interesting. I'm not trying to spread fud. I think I think Jesus Coin is fine. I think there are more community members growing every single day, but there were a lot of wallets, man. There were like there were like a thousand wallets that had just one Jesus Coin in them. That seems artificial to me. It seems like somebody, maybe with good intents, they're trying to make the numbers look good, right? They're like, oh, you know what? I could just do this myself. Nobody would ever know. Whoever you are, okay, cool. But like that, you're adding numbers, sure. But that's it's artificial numbers. It doesn't actually add to the fundamental value of Jesus Coin. Um, <clears throat> it's just hype. But right now, that hype is insignificant. I think I think we're going to see prices go lower. <clears throat> I think we will see prices go below here. Um, and we'll just see. Let's see how this week closes, man. Because if this week, if we close too much lower, man, uh, this could be a very bearish looking week. What was once so hopeful could be very despairing. But that's okay, man. It's okay. You know, 
despair. Oh, I did not. We are not connected to any wallets. Well, that's good. I'm, I would hope so. Because uh, I haven't connected any wallets. What's despair to some people is opportunity for others. So if you bought up here, don't despair. Because if you do, you are providing opportunity to people who want to buy it from you at a lower price. I'm those people. I'm one of those people. So don't do it. I'm trying to help you out. I'm not trying to help myself out. I would rather you not sell to me because if the prices do end up going lower than the slow, which at the moment I am anticipating, I'm going to be buying down here. No doubt about it. No, I'm not even going to wait for these lower prices. I'm going to be buying right here, right there. If I see it, if I miss the orange line and it goes a little bit lower, then I guess I'm buying down there. But I'm, I'm absolutely buying at that orange line whenever it happens. So don't sell to me. Don't sell to the whales. Don't sell to anybody who wants to take the opportunity that you present them by selling, panic selling whenever you see the prices down there. It will probably happen swiftly, fastly. I don't think it's going to happen today. You know, we might move down, we might move back up, we might move down, we might move back up, but then break really fast. You know, who knows how it's going to look. Um, but I'm sure we'll see some big dumps over the coming weeks. And with that being said, you know, let's see how this week closes. This can change, right? As 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 it has, man. Went from cautiously bearish to kind of bullish to bearish again, and now definitely bearish, right? Like so, that could change. That that absolutely could change. Let's see how the next couple days close out, and then you know we'll get back to it. But uh, yeah, man, that's all I got. I was looking at these on on Etherscan.io. It only has the first 20 pages of wallets. Um, if you go to the last one, we've got like wallets that are worth. And this is on your thousandth wallet, right? There's 15,000 wallets. On the thousandth wallet, we have $2,593. So I think it's safe to assume that like out of that 15,000, probably at least 2,000 have $1,000 or more. That's that's a nice little bit, right? Um, but it's not it's not a lot, right? Like, like you see 15,000 wallets, you might assume that everyone's holding a lot of money in it or, or even like a hundred dollars in it but they're not like there's there's a good bit there's probably like a third of those wallets that aren't even holding um, a significant amount of money if not over half those wallets but but uh, you can kind of find if you are one of those people that holds more than two thousand six hundred dollars as of right now the time of writing this I should say seventeen point two two three seven billion coins you can find your placement somebody I forget who, who what the name was uh, I would give you a shout out if I remembered, but you told you you told me that you were like in the top 700 um, for your Jesus coin placements. The reason I was stopped on this page is because this is my page of placement, and I'm not going to tell you guys which one's my wallet, but uh, this is this is the the placement, the page that I'm on. So I'm not I'm not in the top like 100, top 200, but I am in I am in the top 400. That's for damn sure. Not in the top 300 though, but yeah. That's uh, that's all I gotta say, man. A little bit of personal whatever. Not trying to flex. Like that's um, I I wouldn't. I'm not like that at all, man. I really don't care. I just think it's interesting. And maybe some of you think it's interesting. If you're not in the top uh, thousand wallets, then you need more Jesus coin, man. And you're gonna get that opportunity when the prices drop. I'm gonna actually did the math on if I was to add down there where I would be. Um, and I believe I'd be I would I would definitely be in the top uh, 300 potentially in the top 200 wallets if I added the amount that I'm thinking to add down there. But we'll we'll see. I'll let you guys know when I buy. I'll let you guys know when I sell. I'll let you guys know whenever I'm bullish, when I'm bearish, when I, whatever. Whether you love it, whether you hate it, whether you just like it, I don't know. Hit that like button. Subscribe to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Prices are going down. We're back on that again. That's that's the that's the cruel reality of it. It looks good. Now it doesn't. It looks like very strong reversal. You don't think it looks bad? L let me just show you, right? Real quick before we end it. Very strong move. I was skeptical here, right? I was even skeptical on this day, but this day was the day that had me convinced. What's the one thing to see that's not good after a convincing day like that? Is a bearish reversal candle. And why is it bearish? Not just because it's big and red, but because it literally engulfed the whole candle. That's a bearish engulfing candle with more volume than that candle too. Not a good look, man. Not a good look. This is like what they call a fake out. You fake broke out and now you're coming back down. Very, very likely. And I had my suspicions yesterday, 
Um, but yesterday's close kind of confirmed it, and the current price action is confirming it as well. I think we're going lower. I'm not trying to spread FUD. I'm just being real with you guys. I think we will see the land of the seven zeros prominently, very prominently in the land of the seven zeros. I'm thinking we go below 707. That's my minimum target at the moment. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.